St. Elizabeth lies to the southwest end of Jamaica, bordered on the north by St. James and Shalani, on the south by the Caribbean Sea, on the east by the parish of Westmoreland, and on the west by Manchester. The northern and northeastern sections of the parish are mountainous, while an extensive plain occupies the central and southern districts. Running through this plain from north to south is the Santa Cruz range of mountains, which terminates at the southern extreme with a 1,600-foot precipice. Welcome back to Hilite, Jamaica, the place you come to learn about Jamaica and Jamaicans. If it's your first time joining me here, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking that red subscribe button and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so you never miss any of my updates. St. Elizabeth is one of the oldest parishes in Jamaica. Originally including much of the western section on the island, it was split to form parts of Westmoreland and Manchester in 1703 and 1814 respectively. St. Elizabeth was named in honour of Lady Elizabeth Modiford, wife of Sir Thomas Modiford, Governor of Jamaica between 1664 and 1671. Early settlement in St. Elizabeth began in the Pedro Plains, where the Tainos, the first inhabitants of Jamaica, occupied the coastline and led a simple life. Though the original Tainos died by the 17th century, persons of Taino descent from Suriname came to settle in the parish in the 18th century and their descendants are still here to this day. When the Spanish were defeated in 1655, the slaves who did not manage to flee to Cuba retreated to the impenetrable cockpit country, which included parts of St. Elizabeth. These fleeing slaves became known as Maroons, and today, St. Elizabeth remains home to the Maroons of Akompong, one of the most famous Maroon towns in Jamaica. The St. Elizabethans also played an instrumental role in the Sam Sharp Rebellion of 1831. It is documented that about 20 to 40 percent of the slave population fought in that uprising. This little town of Black River, now the parish capital, can boast its own popularity in the 19th and early 20th centuries as a fishing spot, colorful balls and banquets, often held at courthouse and its annual circus that attracted visitors from far and wide. Black River, among the oldest towns on the island, is reportedly the first to have received electricity. The Leyden's brothers were among the earliest settlers in the parish, and they are said to have imported Jamaica's first motor vehicle. Though the social scene has changed significantly, the parish has forged ahead in agricultural production, providing the bulk of Jamaica's vegetable and fruit provisions. The Black River supports an important shrimp and freshwater fishery, and best of all, St. Elizabeth's diverse geographical patterns make for a landscape as rich and varied as the heritage of its people. St. Elizabeth has several towns of importance. These are Santa Cruz, Malvern, Junction and Balaclava. Other organized towns within the parish are Mogotty, Lacovia, Bull Savannah, Southfield, Newell, Newmarket, Silo, and the middle quarters. The cockpit country is a large area in west central Jamaica that derives its name from the cockpit crust limestone, which has the appearance of an overturned egg tree. This area measures approximately 450 kilometers squared, and though centered in the parish of Trelawney, has extensions into St. Elizabeth. The cockpit country vegetation is the largest and most intact example of wet limestone forest in Jamaica. Its flora exemplifies the outstanding edemism of West Indies, and most of Jamaica's 550 native ferns grow in this area. The Honorable Roger Clark was the Minister of Agriculture from 2012 up until his death in 2014. A former mayor of Black River in St. Elizabeth, Clark was Member of Parliament for North East St. Elizabeth between 1991 and 2007. The Honorable Barbara Gloudon, Communication Specialist, Playwright and Journalist, was born in Malvern, St. Elizabeth. The Right Honorable Donald Sangster, 
born on October 26, 1911 in the parish of St. Elizabeth, was a Jamaican solicitor, politician, and the second Prime Minister of Jamaica. The Honorable Alfred M. W. Sangster, well-known educator and founding president of the University of Technology, formerly the College of Arts, Science and Technology, was born on July 24, 1929 in the parish of St. Elizabeth. Una Maud Marson, Jamaican feminist, activist and writer, was born on the 6th of February 1905 in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth. She was the first black female to work for the BBC. Thank you for joining me again guys. I do hope you found this video interesting or informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to Elite Jamaica as yet, consider doing so by clicking the red subscribe button and hitting the bell icon so you always receive my updates. Until then, keep safe. I'm Alex. Bless.